Why aren't you showing me your boo boo? Hello, friends. Catherine and Erica here. I was doing this to show a countdown, and oh. Erica says, Why are you showing me your boo boo? Friends. I thought you had a story about your. Did I tell the story about my original boo boo? I don't think you did. Um, today we are going to make a fancy fold card. It's going to be an easel card and I am in the summer mood. So we are using, going to use bright colors, summer stamps. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. It's a really quick and easy fancy fold card, which is right up my street. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about it, but I will tell you a quick story about the boo-boo. So yeah, you've been injuring yourself. Uh, this lately. poor <laughs> finger, um, has been through the ringer. Uh, couple months ago, Ransel and I were at a nursery and we were looking at trees and I went back to the very last tree in the row because I wanted to get it up close and personal. Look at that beautiful <laughs> specimen. And my feet went right out from underneath me and I fell backwards. And as I did that, we were in a greenhouse and I grabbed the metal beam that Trying is to catch part yourself. of the structure of mm -hmm. the greenhouse and slice my finger open well several of them open one particular was really bad lots of red stuff that everywhere. happened it, it was it was significant you sent pictures it was quite a fiasco um I did not get stitches it was one of those that I know sliced, like sideways I wondered about that oh, yeah I might have needed details. anyway mm -hmm. so that healed up Everything is fine. And then I was at the office after hours one night. I was working late, working on a video. I was working on reels. And I was very aggressively cutting mounting Snipping tape. away. And my finger got in the way. Yeah. It's one of those, like, sideways cuts again. So it was like, oh, it's... Uh, anyway. So, thus the Band-Aid. Moral of the story is <laughs> be careful with your crafting and walking. As both are just dangerous. It's the same finger. Yeah. Two injuries within a month and a half of each other. I will say this. You know your friend loves you when they send you pictures every time they injure themselves. <laughs> I felt very loved. Is that what I do? Yeah. You're like, on that Saturday when you fell or Sunday, you like sent, it was Saturday because they're not open on Sunday. You sent a picture and you're like, guess what happened? <laughs> well, I was very shocked at the amount of blood that came out. It was everywhere. So anyway, I had to share the the stunningness of it. I just was very surprised. Yeah. So I had to share it with you. Thank I you know. for letting me share. I, I really I, appreciate I it. I love getting messages from you with things like that. Because oh. you thought, I'm like, oh, she thought of me. She's like, I Erica did. needs to know that I, 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 I really, mean. I was laughing though because your story, you totally bit it at the nursery. You just bit it. I did. And like, that's the part, it kind of, that's kind of funny. It was. Like, <laughs> Like mud all over the back of my shorts. I had blood all over my leg. It was it was quite a quite a show. It was, so I need a little sympathy and words of love and encouragement from my not friends. me laughing. <laughs> I'm excited for today's card. Let's just jump Poor right Mr. in. Mr. Pointy, that I know, <laughs> I know. It's really so. If you've been noticing my band aid situations lately, that's what's going on. Yeah. Um, let's take a look down. No, oh. not that. Not this. That. There you yeah. go. Yeah. So to make this fancy fold easel card, oh, you're not yeah. going to believe how easy this There's is. There's going to be fancy folds involved. Yes. Okay. So you're going to get a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. You're going to cut it in half at four and a quarter. This is going to give you two sheets of paper. You're going to take that and you are going to score it at four and a quarter and two and three quarters. No. Ha! Two and three quarters and five and a half. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ignore me. Let's start again. Disregard that one. Pretend I didn't just say that. You're going to score at five and a half and two and three quarters. Then you're going to fold that and then you're going to fold that. And don't forget about this little ditty here because on Wednesday we have a YouTube video it will go up as a premiere, and it's going to show you how to use this on a really gorgeous, fun, super cute card. Oh. That comes on Wednesday. We're not 
going to do this kind of card today. We're going to do an easel card. So another way to do this, if you don't want to do the scoring, where'd my, uh, oh, here it is, my bone folder. Take your bone folder, fold your cardstock in half, score it. And actually, you know how I folded it this way? For this easel card, you're gonna fold it this way. So it's gonna go like that, okay? So take this, open it, and then fold in half. And give a little score, a little crease. Score, okay? Our so, friends want you to be careful. I know. It's, <laughs> It has been rough <laughs> round here. <laughs> I've been terrible. So this is the base of your easel card. And now we're going to go ahead and build it. First thing we're going to do is take our fabulous. We're just going to be building some pieces now to decorate the easel card and make it an actual easel. Because right now it's not an easel. It's just a folded piece of cardstock. It's a flapper. We, let's see. I got my color inspiration from the Preppy Prince Patterned Paper Pack. Say that, Say that five times, times fast. <laughs> this is one of my very favorite pattern paper packs. I adore it. Tiki Torch, Catching Rays, Chiffon, Lime Ricky, Grasker, Aquatini, Pucker Up, and Flurry Pucha is the color combo. I pulled out my mini ink pads, and with your minis, you can easily ish just ink up one letter because they're small. Whoa. It gets a little tricky when you come in and do the second letters that are, that have another letter next that to it. Close to one you might them. have to take your finger and kind of like get the excess off there. Oh, and then I did that. Okay, so now we have our A, L. You can also, mask these off with a little post-it note or a scrap of paper. You can go like this. Just line them up. I'm just showing my B. Can you guys see that okay? Was I off the frame? You were a little. Okay. Um, you said A and I was thinking fabulous, fallibus. <laughs> I was concentrating on what you were doing pretty hardcore over here. <laughs> There's my B. I like using, because since the photopolymer is like a little tacky, when you stick your little strips down to mask, they kind of stay pretty yeah. in place. So that works really well. Or like you could use happy doodle bow tape. So what would you guys do? Would you, are you going to try to freehand this or are you doing the masking technique? Which one? Which one is more up your alley? I feel like both are fabulous. <laughs> so fabulous. And this card is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I messed up. That's okay. Carry on. Well, magic of TV. Bada boom. Fabulous. And I just went down the rainbow. I did leave out chiffon. But I used all the other colors and made a beautiful rainbow. So then we can take this and trim it down. Oh, from your paper pack color combo. Yes. Gotcha. I was like, what do you mean you left out chiffon? Um, most of our friends are feeling like they mask for safety. Mask for safety. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> mask up. Okay. <laughs> so then I have this beautiful template or canvas. My there you blank go. canvas. So for the inside of the card, I'm going to take this piece. This is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to <coughs> adhere this layer to the inside of my card. Love it. We're going bright, amazing color. Then I have these two pieces. I cut it at four. What is this one? Two and a half. So these pieces of patterned paper are four by two and a half. 
and I'm just going to layer them right on here. Cute. And for our friends who have asked about incorporating pattern paper into their card making, uh, this is a great um, example of that. And just to say, I always like to say, our paper packs are coordinated and we, we spend a lot of time making sure that the, a lot of these prints in, are going to mix and match. So you can just grab whatever and they're going to look great together. That is true. Because they're color coordinated. I want a flamingo. Oh, I didn't show the fabulous. So this is the just plain fabulous stamp set. Um, I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit. What do you guys think about this fabulous? We created this stamp set. So it has all these secondary sentiments to go with. So you can take this and stamp in black right over the top, or you could do a light color with a dark color over it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's that really cute. So fun. You act, I love it. You're acting surprised. That's what I always do. I'm like, like I've never, like I've seen, never this seen this before. <laughs> my favorite stamp in here is Phenomenal Incomparable Legendary. I think we're probably going to use that. You can use Stay Classy. Uh, here's a straight line. Fabulous. Here's to a fabulous grandma. Here's to a fabulous friend. I think you're pretty. I love that. Maybe I'll use this. Oh, you know what? could do I think you're pretty right over the fabulous oh my gosh so many fun opportunities for creative sentiments with this set yeah so we'll use a, a little secondary with that so let's put this aside over here and then for the flamingo from the summer lovin stamp set I pulled this to go with the preppy prints look at those cute little heart glasses they're adorable. Those are cute. Okay. So we've had that one for a while, and it is a great summer set. It's a lot of fun. That was a Cersei, I think. Yeah. Yes. A little palm tree. and So a pucker up. <gasps> Gorgeous. Flamingo. So if you want a little bit of shading on the flamingo, let's take Flirty Fuchsia and do his body. So for ink blending right on your stamp, when you, you know, just apply ink to part of it, then use your ink blending brush to kind of smooth that out so there's no harsh lines. It diffuses the color of it. Just makes it nice and smooth. And then I'm just doing a little bit on the edge of his back just to make it darker. If you have not already downloaded our color wheel, uh, this is a great tool. It is free on our website. So shop.catherinepooler.com. You can go in there and hover over shop, find the free download section, and you will find the color wheel. This has all of our ink colors listed on here and how they fit into the color wheel. Uh, shows you how to pick out triad color combinations. Tetrad shows you which colors are complementary. You can tell which colors are analogous. And then on our YouTube channel, there's a whole bunch of videos. We use this actually probably in most of our videos, mm -hmm. but there is a designated section of color wheel training or education um, for card making. You can also use this for home decor, color combinations for your outfits. I mean, seriously. If you're like us, just and super helpful. you're like, oh, I got a new top. It's catch and raise. And then... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what should I wear with it? Do Which I is... want to, you know, have an analogous color combo or do I want to go complimentary? So that's how I figured the Flirty Fuchsia and Pucker Up were going to be the same color, basically. They're both red-violet, different shades. And then I knew that blending them together on the stamp was going to work just by knowing the color wheel. It's going to layer like a drape. Okay, so we have the little flamingo. Do I need to cut him out? I do have one already cut out, Magic of TV. Ta-da! And then a few more. Maybe we do a little leaf. So Lime Ricky and a little grass skirt if you want to do some ink blending on your stamp. Just do Lime Ricky and then add in a little bit of grass skirt. 
On small stamps like this, sometimes I don't mind taking it back to the lighter and just giving a little light tap there to blend that out. Or you can come in and use your blender brush. Either way is going to work. And then you can see the nice little ink blending on that stamp. So this video is focusing on fancy folds, but we're adding in all kinds of tips and tricks here. I had a sun stamp. Here it is. The sun in Catching Rays is a home run. And then speaking of fancy folds, we have some news to spill. Oh, I love spilling news. Okay. I have this. And I have this. Look, just look. I have a little palm tree. I have pineapple. I have more of these and I have a couple of these. So we can decorate our card with this. I have also die cut my postage stamp dies. So I have a straight layer and the postage stamp. And I thought that was appropriate for a summertime card, like the postcard. You know, you're sending a postcard from from a vacation. Not from the edge, from the beach. <laughs> um, do you want me to spill the news? Yes, you spill the news while I do a little ink blending. Okay, so we are super stoked. Um, our Stamp Nation members get quarterly activities and promotions and just perks is what we like to call them, SN perks. And we have a class scheduled for this quarter, quarter three, for August 16th. It's going to be um, at noon Eastern time. We're going to go live on Zoom with our Stamp Nation members. And the theme is going to be fancy folds. We're gonna, oh my gosh. We're going to be getting so fancy. Excited. Yeah. So we are really, really excited about that. And we'll be featuring um, products from our fall release. And all of that information with supply lists, et cetera, will be going out to Stamp Nation members um, so that they can prepare for that class. So if you have not signed up yet, now is a great time to subscribe to Stamp Nation. Try us for a quarter. Um, you'll be able to get early ordering with the fall collection, and you'll get to get fancy. Getting fancy. With us on August the 16th. And with those Zooms, it is a, it is a live, but if um, you're unable to make it, we put the replay up on thestampnation.com and members can go in and watch the replays. We haven't done fancy folds in a while for yeah. the, with Stamp Nation, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Sorry for the moving. You know, historically, I have not been a big fancy fold kind of gal, but... I was creating over the weekend and making some fancy fold cards and I got pretty excited about it. So maybe I'm just in the stage of my card making journey and I'm ready for some fancy folds. What about you guys? Are you guys excited? Do you uh, make fancy fold cards or do you stick to the traditional? This is glass slipper glitter. I'm using the score tape. It is, this one is one eighth of an inch, and I just put a little strip right above my masked uh, aquatini. I'm going to take another piece of scratch paper and just rub it. This will push that glitter down into the score tape. And then, whoo, I have a glittery little line above my masked ink blended It's making aquatini. your, well, if that's like water or whatever. It's like it's glistening, yeah. like sand, sand glistens. <laughs> How cute is that? So let's see, let's put the sun over here. So now just build a, build a little scene for this easel card. And then we'll show you how the easel part works in just a minute. Nice. And then Stamp Nation members, who do we have here? Yeah, give us a little shout out in the shout comments out. if you are a member of Stamp Nation and maybe like what your favorite thing about being a member is. Or how long you've been a member. Oh yeah. We have members who because Stamp Nation will be celebrating its 13th birthday in January. Wow. I think that's right. Well, we started in 2011 of Jan January, so I think you're right. So that's amazing. And we definitely have some folks who've been members since the beginning. 
we're hanging out with you. They're your day ones. Oh, that's so cute. You gotta love a day one. <laughs> So definitely want this flamingo to pop up. I think it'll be really, really cute. Oh, they're excited about getting fancy with us. Oh, good. Yeah. So we have, like I said, there's a, a video coming to YouTube on Wednesday doing another fancy fold card. And that's going to be a premiere, right? Yes. Exciting. If you are not signed up for our newsletter yet, be sure to head over to shop.catherinepuller.com. If you grab the color wheel, that will add you to the newsletter list. Uh, but you can also, there should be a sign up box there, a little pop up box that comes up for you to sign up. And then you'll know when we have um, product inspiration and sales and new products and whatnot and new videos. And you um, also, if you're not subscribed to Catherine's YouTube, um, go ahead and do that and click the notifications. And then when we have lives like today or videos that get scheduled as premieres that go up, then they will pop up and you guys will be in the loop to watch them. Get all the newest content, all the newest tips, tricks, pointers, oh and ideas. I mean, delish. Oh my goodness. We have so many SN members today joining in. Oh, great. Welcome, guys. We absolutely love it. You like the challenges and pen pals? Yes. Oh, I need to schedule some more challenges this week. Make a mental note, Erica. <laughs> the um, challenge team, our stamp nation coordination team are fantastic. They do a great job pulling together ideas and posting challenges and making card samples to inspire. All right, Love so it. you can make this on a regular traditional card front, or if you're making an easel card, you're just going to take this and adhere it on the bottom half. Bottom half only. Don't glue the top. Okay. Because you want it to go like this. <gasps> Cute. Now we need something to. I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> Did it? Are you excited? You're so excited. And then you need something that's going to stop it. So we're gonna take the fabulous. Uh huh. And I think I want to trim a little bit off the edge here. So a little trim here and a little trim here, and then some foam tape. Oh, everyone's just really enjoying this um, card, and I think it's super cute. So Stamp Nation members, if you are excited about this, maybe we should have a little challenge for you to create one and then post it over on our Stamp Nation Facebook page to share with the other members. That would be really fun. Okay, so I'm adding Fabulous here, and see how that anchors it? That is Fabulous. <gasps> I didn't see the sneaky peek before you started. So I am with everyone else in my excitement. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm like, easel looks like that? I don't know. You you were not I totally sure thought something happen. else was happening. Totally thought something else really? was happening. Really? Yes. Well, I, this whole time, I didn't know that Erica was just <laughs> hanging on, hoping I'm over for here holding my breath. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little... Phenomenal, incomparable, legendary. I think that is so cute and hilarious. Let's trim this down a bit and just slide it underneath the fabulous. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive under there. <laughs> and that is that. What? How cute. Uh, I would be chuffed to bits if someone sent me that in the mail. And then you just keep that on my mouth. mantle like that. I like to put cards I get in the mail from on my mantle. So, and I think I might have a little bit of a wrong idea about fancy folds in my mind because it seems like it should be harder than this. So I'm gonna say sometimes I think they're really complicated. Years ago, we did a class with Stamp Nation, okay, and Leslie from Happy Doodle, who is oh, a yeah. fold genius made this one that like 
bun in the middle or something. And I went step by step with her to make my card. And there were like all these steps and it was complicated, but it totally worked. I just did what she did and I made my, and I was so proud of myself. <sighs> But in my brain, I was like, I'm never going to remember all of that to do that again. Like, that was a one and done because I, <laughs> I can't replicate it again. But this I could totally this do. This is easy. And it's so cute. And I'm going a little OTT here. Why not? Isn't that so fun? There. So cute. Oh, very exciting. So, guys, hope you're inspired by this card today, whether it's the color combo or the summer vibe or the fancy fold part of it. So again, this was an easel card. It's a fancy fold and it's super easy to do. Just basically fold your card stock in half, open it, fold one flap in half, and that's the base of it. It's super easy. Yes. And I hope you're inspired. It's so cute. Yeah. All right. And Zora, um, Fancy fold, fun folds, fancy folds. Sometimes that you're right. There's no word to write a personal message. A couple it's things you can do. Flap. Yep. This one, you could do a cute little message right up here. You or could there. do up here. Uh -huh. You could even write something on the back if you want for this particular fancy fold. So cute. hope that helps. Love it. If you are not subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Help us spread the word about the Catherine Cooler Designs YouTube channel. We really, really appreciate it. And give us a like, give us a comment, and we will see you soon. Thanks for joining in.